Are the Knicks done, done, done? Paul Pierce. Knicks are done, y'all. Mm. I'm telling you, they're cooked. Cooked. They're cooked. Says Paul Pierce. We're gonna, we gonna take right. them out the oven, put yeah. them on the stove, yeah. cut them up. Yeah. I'm gonna serve y'all a couple plates with dessert. Really? Okay. Let me tell you something. I just didn't think what they were doing was sustainable. Look at this. First three games. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this, this Nicky Key. DeVincenzo was averaging 29 per points per game, 50% from the field, 56 from three. Josh Hart through the first three games, 17 points, 15 rebounds, six assists, 65% from the field, 60% from three. Now, if they play at that level during the season, that's all NBA. And with the injuries that the Knicks have sustained, I just really think the Cinderella run is over for the Knicks. Mm. I mean, it just has to be devastating. Night in and night out, these guys have so much pressure on them. They have to play 45-plus minutes a game. They're only six deep because now they have to extend their bench to guys who haven't played in the series. And I just think the crushing blow to Anunobi not being there was just the final straw. It was great while it lasted. I love the energy that New York brings, the fans, Spike Lee, the superstars, but now it's back to reality. And the depth and Halliburton have come to play, and it's wearing on the Knicks. It's just throughout the course. I said if, if, if Indiana extends this series, it's trouble for the Knicks. And you guys were all oh, the Knicks are this, they're, they're back. We're going to see them versus Boston. I don't believe they can recover from this. This is one of the worst losses in franchise playoff history. And Halliburton has finally joined the party and said, look, I understand what Brunson's been doing, but I'm, I'm Tyrese Halliburton. I'm an all-star, too. Mm. And, I, and I belong in this party. And he's elevated his team to the point to where he's like, look at it. He makes this shot. He points over. He, look, look, he, he throw the thumb out like, look, who, who y'all got out here guarding me? Yeah, he said he can't guard He me. can't guard me. No. And he's gotten confidence, and that's the last guy you want with confidence. Okay. He's trending up. Brunson is trending down. I mean, mm. it looks like he's tired. He's worn down mentally and physically. I just think the Pacers finally still won to New York and ended in Indiana in game six. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like Paul. I'm not ready to say that the Knicks are done yet because when you look at the situation, they went up 2-0. I always felt that they would even the score when they go back to Indy. They would even at 2-2. Then they're going to go back to New York. You, did not, you didn't think no, that. It, you didn't think that. It's on record. You can see it. We got it on record. All right, all right. I said when right. Indy get go home, they going to... We got it on record. I got to go back and look at this. Ain't no need. It's out there for the universe to see. I ain't got to right. lie. All right. I felt they would go 2-2. Then when you talk about OG being hurt, of course they're going to even the score. But now they're going home. They're going to New York with all the energy, backs against the wall. All of those sort of things. And I understand everybody is up in arms about the, 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 as much clock as these guys get. Oh, they're playing 38 and 40 and 42 yeah, minutes. That's tough. That's they're playing catch too up much. to you. That's going to catch up They've to you. They've been doing this their entire careers. They've no. built to play basketball. This is what they know. They know when they join forces with Tibbs as a coach, this is what they're going to get. This isn't the reason... The, the reason that they lost these two games isn't because they ran out of gas. They look tired. It's, it's because they don't have the depth. They look tired. Then you're running in guys that have never really been on the court. They got to get used to playing with each other. They got to figure all these sort of things out. I didn't anticipate the Knicks to win at home, uh, the Knicks to win these games on the road anyway. I anticipated for Halliburton and his company and these guys to play different. Now, when you start talking about Josh Hart, no, he didn't play well. And, and, and uh, DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo didn't play well. And for the most part, they did a great job by putting Nimhart on Jalen Brunson and giving him some issues and problems because of his length and his size. Actually, it's Neesmith. Neesmith, my bad. Neesmith. Neesmith. You, you got to, don't forget Neesmith. He's from Vanderbilt University. Oh, God, Skip, stop it. Well, it's a, it's, Neesmith it's a pro pipeline. Oh, stop. Nobody Everywhere cares about look, that. There's another pro basketball player from Vanderbilt University. Oh, God. Where is Vanderbilt even at?
Where is it at? Nashville, it's I called think. the Southeastern Conference. Nashville, Have you ever heard where, where of Nashville, is, Tennessee? Yeah, Nashville. It's in Nashville. Where is it at? Where, where Are you it? kidding where is me? Where is that? What it is? It's where a pretty is good it baseball. at? It's, it's a pretty, pretty good, good baseball. Pretty good oh, we've only won two of the last five national school, championships. Vanderbilt. Pretty strong academic yeah. school. Pretty, pretty strong. strong. Baseball. That's it's, it. it's the That's Vanderbilt to the south, or should I say, Harvard is actually the Vanderbilt to the north. Skip. I learned something today. It's in the SEC. It I is. learned something that I it learned is. where Vanderbilt Think about all the rest of the education. Think about, about all the rest of the education yeah. in the universities and the schools in the <laughs> SEC. Yeah. Think about that. And you okay. compare, come on, man. Come on, it's not man. like y'all in the <laughs> Ivy League. And, but anyway. Hey, who yeah. went to Vanderbilt? Who? Yeah, who? Uh, Verlander went there. Oh, Neesmith, you said. Neesmith. Oh, Didn't Verlander, who went there to pitch? Who I thought it was Verlander. I'm trying to figure out who went there. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk David about it. Whatever. But so when you look at. The Knicks' depth, they're missing some of the depth. They got four guys that, if they was playing, Randall Robinson, uh, and, um, Mitchell, Mitchell, and, and OG. Nova, yeah. If they had those guys, then it might be a different conversation. But right now, I still got the Knicks winning at home and then going back and losing again in Indy and going back for game seven, finishing right. it out. So you got Knicks winning the series yeah, I in do. seven? I do, in seven. I do. Dude. All right, all right. So do I. And what? Paul Pierce, you should be rooting for the Knicks to win in seven Why? Why because they're decimated like everybody else Why you play. That? Every team you play just gets injured and injured and more injured. And Ooh, you should be about? rooting for the Knicks to get through so you can s s steamroll them when they don't have any players left and they're completely <laughs> out of gas, right? They got to get past the Cavs. Yeah, right? come on. Yeah, well, they do have to get back pack the Cavs. All right, here's the point. You were in so much trouble because I still have the Knicks in seven. We have a dinner bet on Knicks, this. Yes. I, I still got them winning two okay. home games to win this series because it is two to two. Well, they're gonna win with but six you players. were you were so lucky on Friday night. I have never seen anything like it because oh, the New York Knicks were up nine with nine minutes yep. to go in that game. Yep. Up nine with nine minutes, playing I nobody. Was I was sweating. There's no Ananobi. There's no Mitchell Robinson. There's obviously no this and that and the other. We we get that. <laughs> <laughs> but they're up nine, yeah. and it comes down to, we got to look at the dagger shot, Nimhard. Now you can talk about Nimhard yeah, from yeah. Gonzaga. He, he, he makes the shot of shots. Oh, he was fumbling the ball, yeah, too. He couldn't even hold on to the basketball, couldn't no, get a no, grip no, no. on it. Let's see, what oh, do I, I do? Drop, what do I do? I got I, I to I gotta shoot this. Ah. And he rips it. And that's the shot of shots. That's the dagger of the series, it felt like. And this is just me. I, I don't think the Knicks got back up off the, the no, they floor. They from that. I, I, I thought it just shot them right in the heart. Yeah. And they were not ready to play yesterday, and the Pacers were. It rejuvenated the Pacers, who were on a death watch all the way through the fourth quarter. All right, this is how lucky you are. And if you yeah. want to say that Jalen Brunson ran out of gas in the fourth quarter, you can have it. If you can say yeah, his foot hurt him and he doesn't have the lift that he used to have, you got me. But this is what killed me about Jalen Brunson in the fourth quarter on Friday night. All I'm right. going to show you what he didn't do because he had multiple chances to close this thing out on you. And you mm -hmm. were so lucky because mm -hmm. you're holding your breath. Here's Jalen Brunson in the fourth quarter. Here's short, the first, short. Well, this is a, this is a oh, turnover. Yeah, uh, there we go. First big turnover to Alberton. And oh, he goes up. Yeah. Sprained his ankle okay. right there. Yeah, he did a little bit, but he was fine. And then we got on the same possession. Short. You know, he usually makes that. Yeah, he he makes usually that. makes that. And then they get the ball right back. Turnover, same possession. Um, short. And he usually makes that one. I got to say, he usually uh, makes he's that. He's trying to draw a foul, yeah, though. They're not giving got, him that call. got a little 10-foot floater. He short. usually makes oh, that, no. and he just missed it sideways, actually. That foot, that foot bothered okay. him. Okay, and then we got one more and up and under, and he usually makes that yeah, one. If he makes any of those shots I just showed you. Yeah. And then here's the three that was for the to tie at the end of the game after Can't the Nimhart shot. expect to get the same calls you get okay. at home but, to but get on the road. Again, yeah. three of those weren't call shots. They're just, they're just got to make it, yeah. make the layup shot, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And if one of them goes in, any one of those that I showed you, I showed you a whole bunch of them, yeah. you're in big trouble because they're <laughs> hanging on and they're hanging on and they're hanging on. And to Jalen's credit, he did hit a step back jumper and then yeah. he hit a big three in the last minute mm -hmm. to make it what it was. But if Nimhard doesn't make that shot, you're cooked. Listen, I say you're this cooked. time and time again. Okay. On the road to the championship or on the road to winning a series, 
You not only have to be good, you have to be lucky. Yes, you do. You see it happen every year, and that was the Indiana Pacers' luck shot. That was a lucky shot that's going to propel them to a series win. And when they win this series, you're going to look back at that shot right here. Yeah. This that's shot it. right here. Is, they're going to look that back at it. this shot. Yep. And this is going to go down in Indiana lure. Yeah. When they make right. it to the conference finals. And that may and that may be that may be the case. But one thing, like you said, you can't expect those calls on the road. They're going home now. Especially yeah. after Carlisle says they're, they're, go, they're, 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 go, they're going home. Not only, not only are they going Battered home. and beaten. They're going home battered and then a beaten the, team. The, the, the scheduled yeah. gods of the NBA didn't do them any favors. They play Friday night and they come back and play on a Sunday afternoon. Okay. okay. They didn't play Sunday night. They play Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Now they get an opportunity to go home on, and play on Monday. I mean, on Tuesday, they get a chance to play at home at night. So it's a big difference between that six, seven, eight, nine hours of rest time that they would have gotten, they didn't get. Well, they're going to need some more practice time after that loss. Not only that. So, <laughs> what kind of awesome kind of Here's rest what I would say. It. Whoever wins game five, based on NBA history, when, it, when the series is tied 2-2, the winner of game five wins about 86% of the time. True. The, the series. So whoever wins game okay. five most likely are going to go on yeah. to win the whole thing. The difference with this is the Knicks are at home. They're at home. And They're by home. the way, Paul, would you believe the Knicks are two-point favorites in game that's not, five that's at not home? Safe. Okay. That's not safe. I'm just saying, somehow, that's not they're safe. cooked, but they're two-point favorites? But that's not safe. Interesting. You know, two can go either way. Uh, well, it can, but they're still like favorite. That again, another lucky shot know, like that. They just they were just down by 43 You're to this team. 43, the and they're, they're a two-point favorite? in the Knicks right now. Really? If they, if they win at home, they I'm lost, very confident. They lost a close one, and then they got blown out. Okay. They got blown yeah. out. And you know what? You you know this. You just throw it out. You just you just forget it. You go on to game five. In fact, I could not believe Thibodeau. I guess I should believe this. I couldn't believe he played Jalen Brunson nine and a half minutes of the third quarter. It was so over. It was it's over. just wear and tear. It's saying? just taking See gas out of the tank you don't need to take out. Just say that's it. Go ahead and concede it after. No, but Thib says, I got I, I, I to gotta play to win. Yeah, yeah, we we play, might come back from I'm 43 sorry, I'm down. sorry to tell you, boys, but look. It's time for this Cinderella to turn back into that pumpkin. Yeah. It's time to go back to that pumpkin mm. because that this 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 bubble and burst it. And I'm trying to tell you. Look at, look at your two favorite players in the series. Josh Hart gave me how many points he had last game, Skip? He, Two he points. Was, he was terrible. How and many he points? said after the game, I'm supposed to give him energy, and I gave him he none. He gave him none. Okay. He gave, look, he, he went from Josh, Dennis, Robin, Hart to, yeah. to I don't know who, three rebounds. Yeah. And, and Devin Shinso yeah. went from Steph Curry shooting 56 from three. Yeah. To 23 percent, to 16 percent. You got last me. Game. You got me. But that was one game, one game out of seven, yeah. and you just trash it. You I flush just, it. I just think mentally they're demoralized. I think that can be demoralizing. It's just you're like, man, we fought so hard all year long. You guys, we're in the second round. We got through. Uh, we got these first two games at Madison Square Garden, and then Anunoby goes down. That can just mentally drain a team. Skip. It's just like they won't say. When it. he went down, they still won the game. No, they he still won the down, game. He went down in the but first then, half. They and then, played a whole. But then you get on the road. And it's after. not the same thing. But then you like. What more can happen? They won't say it. The players won't say okay. it. Tibbs won't say it. But they feel it. They like, man, what? We just can't catch a break. And then you lose. It breaks you. Just it bends your team a little more. Then you get blown out. It bends your team okay, a little more. Okay, what happened without Ananobi on Friday night? How, how did it go to the last shot? I don't know. I, I, I don't know either. Yeah. But that was it. That, that yeah. was the turn swing game yeah, they right played there. Six quarters without him. That was a swing game right there. All right, I'm going to give you this. Aaron Neesmith from Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, an SEC school and a pro pipeline in baseball, <laughs> football, and basketball. Aaron Neesmith took Jalen Brunson yesterday for the first time for the full time. He is six feet, five inches tall and long, and you should know him because your Celtics yeah, drafted him 14th him. overall, and yeah. you had him for a couple of years, and he was on your, your yeah, final team. Yeah, have enough room to develop him, so right? we had to, you know, try. Okay, so for, uh, for Malcolm Brogdon, they, you, you, he was the centerpiece mm -hmm. piece of that trade, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so he became a mainstay for the Pacers, but they had not tried him full-time on Brunson, and maybe it's just Brunson running out of gas, 
but now Brunson's got 48 hours to figure out what can I do to him that I couldn't do to others, you know, that I that I could do to others. He's that tired. I, yeah. He's tired. You think he's just shot, tired. spent, done? All of them tired. Okay. I, all of them play 45 minutes plus. I mean, they're tired, Skip. Yeah. It, it was evident. I saw from the jump ball the first two minutes. It was, I, the first thing I said was, the Knicks, the Knicks don't look like the same team. They didn't get back on defense. It was a couple of breakaways. And I was like, hold on, this ain't the Knicks team that I saw mm. the first two yeah. games where it was just helter-skelter, but it was at a fast pace. It, it was just, I didn't see that. Okay, so what happened in the 85 finals after the Celtics did Memorial Day Massacre on the Lakers? Remember that? Yeah, a bunch okay. of Hall of Famers mm -hmm. playing in that yeah. game. Ain't no right. Hall of Famers in this game. Well, Jalen Brunson's got yeah. a chance. No, nah, ain't no mm. Hall of Famers in this game. Come on now. Mm. He's talking about historic. <laughs> Teams, <laughs> don't bring that up. Yeah. Well, you talk. Well, you say that, that Jalen Bronson is tired. He's cooked. All of this sort of stuff. I ain't say he was cooked. I say he just looks tired. He looks mentally drained, physically but that, drained. And, that, and okay, so all that may be true. I'm saying the Knicks as a whole. But that may that may be you true, Paul. The, right? Let, let, you can take them out the oven. That may be true. They may be dehydrated. They may be tired. All of those things. No energy. No effort in certain situations. But they're going home. The crowd's gonna be behind them. They gonna I just off of drilling alone, it's gonna shift. Just off and of that alone, Indiana it's gonna, gonna shift. All they're gonna have to do is withstand that first run. You know. Withstand that first burst from the crowd, silence the crowd, and then make their run. But they had, it's gonna happen the at the games, beginning, too. You watch, it's gonna happen at the, the beginning games of the that game. They played them at home, they didn't get a chance to silence yeah, the crowd. Yeah, but they were in the game. But they they were, were in the Knicks games. were in the game on Friday night. They just went in the game last night or yesterday. They yeah. were in the game because Friday they night. They understood the urgency in that game three. They said they can, they can, you can really break a team if they won game three. So they gave it they all, they gave everything they had left in game three. Because that was the team, that was the game that was gonna break Indiana. And they knew it. Because in order to move forward in the playoffs, they can't extend the series with their injuries, with the guys dealing with foot issues, DiVincenzo back, and Unobi out. You, you know, they, they was like, this is the game, guys. They focused on that game, and you can tell. They was like, we have to get this series over right now, because if they went up 3-0, we all know that series would have been over. And when they didn't do it, that shot broke their back, and then they get blown out. I just don't see how they recover. So you're admitting you were very lucky on Friday night, because uh, it would have been over. 100%, Skip. Okay. 100% luck. And I all said, right. to win in this league, you got to not only be good, you have to be lucky. So you don't want to see them against the Celtics, then? The Knicks. See who? The Knicks. No, he... I don't care who we see, because when I look at this, look at the Final Four, Skip, and, and look at this, Keyshawn. You got Indiana, New York, <laughs> Cleveland, and Boston. Could you say, could I see Indiana in the finals? Like, when you really think about it, could I say, can I see the Knicks actually in the NBA finals? Mm. Like, when you think about big picture, th does that even look right? Mm. Can I see Cleveland making it to the finals? When you look at it like that, it don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Beat it don't matter if we play Indiana. It don't matter if we play New York. I can't see them two teams in the, beating the Celtics four times, let alone in the finals. So think about how lucky you've been. Giannis and Dame hurt. Embiid hurt. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy hurt. Butler hurt. These guys, the Knicks, they're all hurt. All of them hurt. Especially Jalen Brunson, right? I cannot picture the Indiana okay. Pacers in the finals. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. All right. Sometimes it's like that. So I'm going to suggest that no, no player feeds off his home crowd more than Jalen Brunson does in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, That's, That's what, what I'm I trying to get you to understand, yeah. Paul. Man, they're going home. They're going home. The crowd, all that. They were flat yesterday. They were down. There's no question about it. They, they were wounded. They were licking their wounds. There's no question about it. But they That's why I said initially at the beginning of the game, it's going to be all good. But them bruise, them thigh bruises, them ankle sprains, them foot sorenesses, when you get down at home, it's going to hurt a little bit more. And it's going to discourage you a little bit more. And when that starts to settle in and Indiana start pushing and pushes through their, their, their first punch, it's going to be over. Mm. Indiana's going to make a run. They're going to get discouraged. They're going to take the crowd out the game. Mm. And they're going to win in New York, and I see Indiana going home and finishing this off. Right. Because on they don't Friday play game night, seven in New York. I, I watched DiVincenzo make seven threes on yes, Friday I night. like Steph Clay he, Thompson Maybe Curry. this time he'll turn to Halliburton and say, you can't guard me. Is that possible? No, no, listen, man. DiVincenzo has had a great year. Much respect, hats off. 
I know Milwaukee is like, why did we get rid of him? Or, or, or where was it, Golden State? Why mm -hmm. did we get rid of him? The guy was averaging 29 a game. And, and then and, yesterday wait, 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 happened. Hey, let, let's just not even talk about this series. On the season, what, what he was only behind, what, Steph Curry and Makes, and, and maybe one other player and Makes total for the season, he was shooting 56 from three, giving you 29 a game. That's... All right, so we had a bad invaluable. day. That's invaluable. He can't sustain that. As good as he's been, I don't see him having another 29, 30-point game. I mean, something has to be said in the in Indiana scout report. Something has to be said in the film room to say, hey, we can't allow this guy to get off because clearly when he goes out there and have these type of games, they're pretty much unbeatable. They are. I mean, DiVincenzo, you said 29 a game? I don't think DiVincenzo is going to give you at home Tuesday, what he gave you Sunday. In no, he'll be better. Obviously, he'll be better. Josh Hart will be better too. Be better. I, I like hope that. Josh Hart's better. He gave no. you two points, two points on one of rebounds. six. Right? This might be his lowest rebounding game on the season. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you yeah. just didn't I, I have it. I expect them to be better. Okay. 100%. Yeah. So, so if you expect him to be better, why don't but you? But I don't expect 29 from Zivin Chenzo. Okay, so if he gave you 22. 17 and 15. So if he gave you 22. He's better than giving you... Yeah, yeah, He's going to be better than giving you what he well, gave you last think night. They, I think the mistake they have done, the, uh, the New York Knicks, they've given Indiana confidence now. They've given them defensive confidence. They've given Halliburton offensive confidence. And it's, it's tough to so stop. So you think off. Indy's going to carry over to Tuesday? I think Tuesday. it's going to carry over to Tuesday, and they'll finish it off uh, at home in game By six. By the way, Halliburton in game two scored 34. Yeah. Okay, he scored 34, and, and, he, and he made seven threes. And 35 in game four. Okay, but in game two, he scored 34 on seven threes, and they lost by nine. Okay? So yeah. he, he already had offensive confidence. Nobody conference. joined the party with him. Okay. Wait, the odds makers say Knicks by two? That's, that's not probably, That's not going safe. Oh. Like, well, by it's going to probably time. go up by the time we hit game time. All, All right, time. we got to talk about the defending champs. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.